What's going on, everybody? Welcome to The Flash Season 3, Episode 10, Promo Trailer Review. Yes, it is the worst time of the year when all of our favorite shows go on hiatus, and all we're left with is these tiny little snippets of nonsense that we have to wait until, like, Jan end of January, beginning of February, and it freaking kills me. It burns me inside. But it's fine. We'll deal with what we have. So we have this little snippet from the next episode that's coming out called Borrowing Your Problems from the Future. And we get a pretty good look at exactly what's about to happen in this next episode. First thing that I want to just get out of the way, they're reopening Star Labs. Alright, HR comes in and he's like, Wallace, BA, how come you guys aren't dressed and ready for the whole, you know, reopening? People are going to be here any minute. And you know, Wally being the brand new speedster is just telling him, hey man, we're speedsters. We got the time. It's going to be alright. And I love that. Because he wanted speed so bad, he was willing to throw himself in front of a car, and now he's like, yeah, we're good, we're speedsters, it's alright, don't worry about it, HR. They went with one of HR's ideas to try and reopen up Star Labs, and I cannot wait to see what they're gonna freaking do with I hope it's not something dumb, I hope it's not something dumb, because you know people aren't gonna trust them after the whole, you know, blowing a hole in Central City thing. So maybe they went with his idea to turn it into a museum, or maybe it's just a place where they'll show off cool technology, but, you know, it's not like it's gonna be as active as it was before. But the big reveal in this entire trailer is the fact that we have Barry who is mad at Wally. I mean, oh my god. Wally is suited up, he's running around with Barry, they're stopping people. Barry's mad at Wally because he's not following directions, but is it really something so simple? I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Wally's already saved Barry's life twice. He saved his life once in the Fortnite crossover episode, and then he saved his life again in the last Flash episode when he was about to get his ass ripped open by Savitar. And Wally was like, I don't care what any of you guys say. I'm going to save Barry. I'm a freaking speedster. That's what we do. We're heroes. Don't be punks about it. Jeez, guys, come on. So it's not as simple as Barry going, hey, Wally, you got to fall in line. You got to listen to what I'm saying because I'm the OG speedster. Wrong. What I think it is, Wally's faster than Barry. Wally's already shown to be faster than Barry from the test they're running from the time that Barry was at his level. And in the comic books, if you guys know, Wally is the better speedster. Wally is the more, you know, speed force inclined speedster of all of the speedsters, really. There are, of course, you know, things certain people like Savitar could do that Wally never could do. Whatever. But Wally was able to do so many more things than Barry could. He was even able to use the speed force to form a suit around him, just out of straight speed force energy. Even the new Wally West has been able to do that. So I think it's just a matter of who's faster. I think it's a matter of Barry's upset because Wally is kicking ass. Wally is freaking moving like Barry never could. And every season, it's a speedster that's better than Barry. Reverse Flash, outclassed. Zoom, hella outclassed. Savitar, literally, when he runs, he moves through what seems to be the speed force, all right? And Barry just, no. Two Flashes, couldn't beat him. But Kid Flash is too freaking fast for Barry to be like, this isn't fair, I'm done, I'm out, I don't want to be a speedster anymore, I want to go see if Batman has a position for a new Robin. But we all know that no matter how many times Wally's been faster than Barry, Wally's never been the person to brag about it, Wally's never been the person to be like, hey, I'm better than you, I should be the new Flash. Wally has always looked up to Barry. And Barry is going to have a little bit of a hard time dealing with the fact that Wally's faster. And now he also has this thing looming over his head that Iris is going to die. I mean, how do you work with a kid and your sister is the woman you love, and then she's gonna die. I mean, it adds so much more to what's going on. So again, it's not just about the falling in line thing, and I don't think it's only about being faster. I think it has something to do with everything as a whole, and Barry is just dealing with it as the best he can, but he's not exactly handling it as best he should. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about, we get a little bit of a sneak peek at who the villain for this episode is gonna be. His name is Plunder. Now, Plunder doesn't exactly have crazy, amazing abilities in the comic books, right? He's just an expert marksman. And in the comic books, he was part of Blacksmith's Rogues. And, you know, they all work to try and get rid of Barry's allies. They wanted to take down the Flash. It's, it's normal stuff, you know? He wasn't anything huge. He was just, he was a rogue. He hated the Flash. He worked with other rogues to try and kill the Flash. Boom. But he was so cool because there aren't as many, you know, gun-wielding villains as there should be. I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. There aren't as many amazing gun-wielding villains as there should be. You know, people like Deathstroke and Red Hood. So Plunder had a relatively short run. You know, he was from another dimension that was accessed through Mirror Master's mirrors, and then eventually he ended up getting stuck in the mirror, and Zoom ended up shattering his mirror, sending him back to his own reality. It was short, it was sweet, it was to the point, and it's great to see them using these awesome villains that we don't get to see a lot. 
And that's all we have for right now with all the stuff, you know, everything's on hiatus, so we just have to wait. I'll try to post up more stuff if there's more Flash or Arrow. I need to I need to get ready. And there's a Legion trailer that dropped like a week ago that I did not know was there, so I'm going to go and try to do some stuff about that because Legion is epic. Charles Xavier's son, he's so crazy cool. More crazy than cool, but still crazy cool. But I hope you guys stick around for more stuff. You know, if you want to do that, hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video and you want to see more like it, hit the like button so I know that you guys are enjoying them. Let me know anything you guys want to see while we're on hiatus, any comic book videos, or maybe there's a show that I don't typically watch that, I don't know, I'm going to have a lot of time to watch now, I guess. That'd be pretty awesome. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.